Hey guys, Slowest RS here, bringing you a video on how to set up and program the Stratified Port Injection Controller. Before we get to the programming, let me show you guys how I wired it to the fuse box. That way you guys have an idea on how to do so. So let me go ahead and remove this fuse box. So here is where I tapped into it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right here. Let me pull it off real quick so you guys can take a look. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's pretty much where I trimmed it. I trimmed it all along the sides right there just so it could fit in. It will not fit unless you cut it. After you cut it, you can go ahead and plug this in. After you cut that, you can go ahead and plug it in right there. Just like that. That is the most convenient and easiest way I could figure it out. You do have to cut some of the plastic, but it's no big deal. Once you cut it, it fits right in. All right, so after that, um, let's head over to the computer and see how to set it up. Here's a quick little guide on how to program the stratified port injection controller, or as some of you guys might know, the split second controller. This is the controller that pretty much controls the fuel going into the intake manifold spacer that was provided by the kit. So first thing you guys wanna do is go ahead and plug in the CD that was provided to you, which was a split second CD, and the driver CD, which came with the cable. If you guys do not have those CDs or for some reason you lost them, broke them, etc., link in the description to my Google Drive. I went ahead and uploaded these files. So if you were to open my Google Drive file, you'd pull up something like this. You wanna go ahead and download all these to your desktop. When doing so, after you've downloaded them, you wanna open the R4 software. Once you open the R4 software, you wanna run the exe file. This is the file to, for the software to program the controller. Then after that, you wanna go ahead and go into this Windows file here. This Windows file is the file to have the drivers for the cable. Without it, you will not be able to program the controller. So run the exe file here, and after that, you should be good to go. Next thing you wanna do is run the R4 software, which is right here. All right, so after opening the split second software, you wanna to go to file, open customer. Your tuner will send you a tune file for the port injection. You wanna go ahead and save that to wherever you save it. In this case, I have it saved in this folder. You wanna hit open. Once it's open, you'll be able to see you can select the COM port, connect to ECU, etc. Before you connect to the ECU, you wanna go into options, system settings and make sure you're set to voltage. It's gonna be set to something else, I believe, right off the get-go, but you wanna be set to voltage. And the second thing you wanna check is the engine settings. Make sure you're on two cylinders, two stroke. Yes, I know it's a four cylinder, but this is the settings that, we're, that are supposed to be set. After you set that, you wanna go ahead and plug in your cable, head to your car, and we'll get to that. So I'll see you guys at the car right now, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and um, remove the four screws for the stratified controller or the split second controller, however you guys want to refer it, and hook up the USB to serial port. All right, so next thing you want to do is remove the cover for the stratified controller or the, in other words, the split second controller. It's got four little Phillips screws. Set this aside. So next thing you want to do is take your serial cable, go ahead and plug it in, USB to computer, and then in order for this to connect, you need to turn on your accessories on your, on your car, so let's go ahead, keys. Accessories on. So now you want to select the correct port on what to connect to. In this case for mine it's typically 6. 
connect to port 6 hit connect it should say connect after that and then you want to go ahead and go into maps fuel maps look something like this and then go ahead second to the left up here hit write to ECU write data to ECU I'm not gonna write it because I already have it written but after that you should be good once that's written you want to go ahead and just leave it plugged in now what you want to do is no you want to go to real time all and you want to make sure your volts you have it at least at 1.2 volts it is 1.2 or 1.6 I think mine's at 1.2 because I'm special so if you're running the stock map sensor it'll be like I think 1.6 volts so that's perfect and next thing you want to do is go ahead and um, make sure you flash your cob with the correct tune and make sure you're in the correct slot before turning on the car here where it says rpms you're going to want to make sure you have a reading there that when it's idling and then once the car fully warms up if it's cold you want to wait for it to warm up and once it's warmed up go ahead and rev it to 2500 rpms it'll be plus or minus 100 or so but it should be around 2500 or close to it and if everything looks good you're good to go and you're ready to log so when you do a log you want to make sure on your cob access port you're monitoring your STFTs and you're monitoring your air fuel ratio when you go full throttle you do not want to exceed 12.6 air fuel ratio when you're going wide open throttle especially if you're going past 4000 rpm if you go past 4000 rpm and you're hitting 12 AFRs you want to cut back because you know you're starting to run lean if your SDFTs go plus 20 percent you want to cut off also that is no bueno and then if that does happen make sure you logged it and you send it to your tuner and go from there so that's it for now you know I'm not gonna turn on the car because it's gonna get really loud but that's pretty much how to set it up how to program it and you should be good to go so feel free to message me if you have any questions or concerns you can also message Alex at Stratified if something's happening or you have an issue and we'll see you guys on the next one let me know and like rate and subscribe peace